My name is Mohammed Bari. My wife is Aisha Bari, and we are from originally from Sri Lanka. Uh, we moved in uh, 2000 with the family uh, for my uh, daughter's eye treatment, and then also followed up with the education and things like that. So we got treatment in in uh, New York, and uh, it was well and good. After that, uh, we moved to Ohio, basically for the schools here, and New Albany because which is rated 10 out of 10, going on good. My daughter is very good AB grade student and um, very no no problem in her education or anything like that but uh, lately she had got involved with a group of people uh, who are called uh, evangelical group and then uh, basically there's a pastor who is involved locally in Columbus Ohio they have indoctrinated my daughter and uh, uh, taken away from our home this happened last month since uh, she was all taken all the way to uh, Orlando, Florida. When did you find out that she has become Christian? Well, uh, if I go back to my memory, I, on the f uh, when she was 14 years, she uh, when she wanted to do some babysitting, she put uh, you know age everything, and then she said, "I'm a Christian," you know, and that was the first one. But like one year ago. My son came and told me that she was going in school, around the school with the Bible, trying to convince other kids. And uh, that's when we, I spoke to her, me and my wife, we spoke to her and told her not to do this because it's not right to do this in school. She said she's not going to do any more. But uh, about three, four months later, uh, I mean previously, and then uh, she had written something on the Facebook. Uh, and uh, one of my friends saw it. And then he called and told me and what's going on. And then we asked about that Facebook thing. She said, it's oh, it's uh, long before, not now, and things like that. But she covered it. But we knew it was already there. And she, we knew that she was in it. But we didn't kind of, you know, force anything on her. So one time she said, Mom, I'm not, uh, what, um, what did she say? I'm not, uh, I'm not stupid to go away with random people. But when this, we heard all that, and then she said, all my friends are 21, we won't, I won't take that laptop away. But, uh, you know, then I thought, you know, this is something she needs to, uh, you know, do her homework and all that. And I just kept it, I said, it's, part of it is my fault, that I, I should have taught you, you know. Of this whole thing, right now she's accusing you, she's saying all these bad things about you and your family is, in, in her words, she's disowned you. She doesn't want to live with you anymore. Why are you fighting this whole thing? Being she is not an adult, she's a minor, and these folks has definitely planned to take her out from Ohio. She cannot go by herself. She said she hitchhiked. I don't believe so. Uh, she, even though she's 17, she looks like you know 12 or 13 year old. I don't think anyone will give a ride to that uh, small girl in a car to take uh, like a hitchhike. And we are from my home to the uh, north end of the Greyhound bus terminal, at least 20 miles. And not only that, I uh, feel that basically they kind of brain, you know, taught her what to say and coached her, and she's afraid. So that's the reason why I like to, you know, help her out because I want her to know that I have no problem in whatever faith she has. That's not the issue here. We came in as a family and want to have as a part of our family. She can practice whatever she believes in my house. I have no problem. You continuously said that. And uh, and I will be doing so. I have no problem in that. And after all, she's a young, small, young girl. We love her. We want her as a family. And my wife, we all were kind of disheartened for what happened. We couldn't believe why she left, first of all. Why are you crying? What, do you, what are you scared of? Why she left you? I don't know. I want home. We miss her every single day. Every single minute. My, my other fear is that, uh, my other fear is that she's a young girl, she's, I know that there have been several cases. This goal, uh, global revolution church has used teenagers to get their dirty work done. So I don't want Rifka to be a victim in this. Are you scared that they are going to use your child? Child, definitely, no question about it. Works. Definitely, definitely, there's no question about it. This is the saddest part, because she has to go to college, she wants to go to good college. And she she's a 3.5 GPA student, and uh, she was looking for good school <coughs> colleges and things like that. And I want her to stand on her own. I mean, she has a lot to do in her life before they indoctrinate this sort of thing. First, she hated her friends, and then the family. I mean, this can happen to anyone. 
You see, you now a girl from Ohio, from Indian, Florida, if they do this kind of thing, even from the Florida, then what what will happen to other people if they go, if somebody goes like that, they'll never see their child again. I'm sorry to say this. We we lost our child, and they are putting false allegations by teaching her what to say, and this is not right. And I am sure this should not happen to anyone else. But what we are going through, I honestly pray that this shouldn't happen to anyone anyone else, because we know the sufferings what we are going through right now. When we were trying to look for my daughter for more than two and a half weeks, <coughs> myself and uh, everybody and the police were looking for for my daughter. And we had no clue where she was, what when, where she is, and whether whether she's alive. Nothing. But only confident that we had was the police told us, "Don't worry, she is alive. She is safe. Don't worry." But we didn't know. And at that point, police was also almost about to arrest Brian Williams, a pastor. He got his license recently, and they basically told him, "If this girl doesn't show up in the next three days, we'll have to get a court order and arrest you." That's when. This uh, what you call uh, pastor in Orlando called the police and told the authorities that Rivka is there. But at that same time, this Brian Williams calls my son and tells him, "Look, I am the pastor who baptized Rivka, and uh, look, if if your sister comes home, your parents will be in big trouble." And we couldn't figure out what what he's trying to say. I'm, I mean, it was. We lost our daughter, and then it's basically like kidnapping. And he and the pastor in Orlando are Facebook friends, which we saw. And uh, you know, for two and a half weeks, he was uh, my daughter was in his home. He's an adult who's 21 and above, and keeping a minor. I don't see nothing happening to him at all so far. So, did they file any case against him that he was keeping a minor without custody right in his home? Nothing so far. I doubt that to my knowledge. There is no case filed. Nothing, to so my knowledge. And he, the same pastor, comes to uh, with my daughter and put false allegations, basically, to to get my daughter. And one more thing I like to cover is this: when I went to that courthouse, there was a complaint by, made by the by the attorney from their side that there were two calls made from Rifka to the children's services. Immediately, I called the the courthouse, called Ohio Children's Services, and said. There's no allegations like that. No, nothing. And the police said no, no problem. She says my parents are very devout Muslims, and they're gonna kill uh, kill me, and they have to because it's in Quran. How do you explain yourself and um, her fear of um, being afraid of you? How do you say it? Let me show you something. That's uh, this one. Look at this. How many Muslim families will send their children for this cheerleading in this dress? You can check it out yourself. Nobody I might not impose on my children, so they were free to do what they wanted to do. And what is uh, that? this is another one with the group, yes, okay. and this Rivka here, right here. So this taken in 2008. So I didn't impose anything on 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 my daughter. There's so no how problem. about Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka is Muslim country or? Sri Lanka is a Buddhist country. Majority are Buddhist. We are only seven percent there. You know, I went to a Christian Catholic school. Father St. Lucius College, and uh, in the morning we had to say the Christian prayers there. And um, we have church there, mosques, temple, you name it. And we all uh, are together, there's no problem there. So it's not the first time that you are living with uh, Christians or you are seeing Christianity? My best friend is a Christian, his name is Gary Abbott. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. I know him for more than 20 years. Most of the friends I deal with, my business colleagues, they are all Christians. They love me, they, know, they feel sorry for what has happened. So, what would be your message for Rifka? I want you to come back home because I have only one daughter. What are you scared of? What will happen to your daughter? No, she don't need to be scared. She so what are you scared of? What will happen to her if she doesn't come back? I don't know what's going to happen to her. Because I want her back home. I hope Rivka, you understand the seriousness of it, and uh, we love you. That's all. You know, we you, you are welcome anytime. Whatever happened in the past is gone. No, don't worry.